Welcome. So what I'd like to do is uh, go ahead and go through uh, writing the equation of this uh, parabola, knowing that I have a focus of negative 2 comma 4 and a directrix of y equals 6. So the first thing I need to do is identify, is my axis symmetry going to be vertical or horizontal? And the only way I can be able to identify that is by plotting the information that I have. And once I know if it is vertical or horizontal, then I can determine what exactly is going to be what type of equation I'm going to use. So the focus at negative 2, 4, so I go negative 2, up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And my directrix is at negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> directrix is y equals negative 6 from my origin, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. OK. So now in this case, what I'd like to be able to do is notice that the distance between my directrix and my focus is going to be my vertex. And remember, the vertex is always going to be opening towards your fo focus. So my parabola is going to open something like this. I don't know where the vertex is, um, but I'll figure that out in just a second. The main important thing is I understand that the parabola is going to open up. Therefore, that's going to tell me I can use the equation x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k squared, or y minus k. Therefore, once I know this, and I figure out the center, that is going to be my points h and k. All right. So let's go on and determine, because between the focus and the directrix, remember the definition of parabola is that all the points on the parabola are equidistant from the focus to the directrix, including the vertex. And, but what's important is the vertex is on the axis of symmetry, which your focus, which is perpendicular to my axis of symmetry. So if this goes up 4. All right, and this one goes down 6. I can probably say that uh, to, find the, to find the mid, I just need to find the midpoint between these two y values. So I can simply just take 4 and negative 6, add them up, divide by 2, and that's going to give me a negative 1. Therefore, at negative 1 is going to be my vertex. So just find the midpoint between the two y coordinates of uh, 4, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, 4 and negative 6, and you find your vertex, which is at negative 1. And let's just make sure, is that equidistant to the focus and directrix? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very good, it works. All right, so the next thing that's important to write the equation, so we know the center is at negative 1, and it has to align the, the axis symmetry, so it would have the same x coordinate as the focus, which is negative 2. So therefore, my center is negative 2 comma 4. The last piece of information we need to figure out is p. What is the value of p? Remember, p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. Um, so since my focus is going up, p is going to be positive, And I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So I can say p equals 5. Now, all I simply need to do is enter this information into my quadratics, and I have, or into my parabola. So I have x opposite of h. Well, h is negative 2, so opposite of negative 2 would be positive 2. Squared equals 4 times p, which would be 5, times y opposite of k. k is 4, so it would be minus 4. I can simplify that into x plus 2 squared equals 20 times y minus 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of an ellipse when provided your focus and directrix. Thanks.